So if you remember it, in your algebra class, when, when you're taught how to complete the square, right? When, you, when you're taught how to take a generic polynomial like the one I've got on the left here and rewrite it in that kind of partially factor form on the right side, there's a number that you have to add to the left side to be able to do this. And in your algebra classes, we usually just give you the formula. Add b divided by 2, square that whole thing, that'll give you what you need. Well, if you ever wondered where that b over 2 quantity square formula came from, that's what we're going to talk about here. Right? We're going to see where, where that number comes from. So how am I going to do that? Well, my first step is going to be to take that right-hand side and multiply it out. So if I do that, it becomes x squared plus 2hx plus h squared plus k. That k really isn't going to be a factor here. It, it's just going to kind of float along for this whole derivation. So what I really want to do here is I, I want to find the value of h squared. Because h squared is the number that I had to add to make this polynomial part into a perfect square. All right, so how are we going to do that? Well, for two polynomials to be equal... Their corresponding coefficients have to be equal. Right, so sp specifically looking at our situation here, the coefficient of the x term on the left, that's b, has to be equal to the coefficient of the x term on the right. That's the 2h. Okay, so I'm going to write that, right? b equals 2h. And now we can solve this for h easily, right? Divide both sides by 2 h is equal to b over 2. Excellent. But we really didn't want h, right? We wanted h squared. That's the number we're going to add. So if I square both sides of this, h squared is equal to b over 2 quantity squared, and that's the formula you're given in your algebra classes. All right, so what, what about this case? It, it's a little different, right? We, we've got an a coefficient out there in front of the x squared. Now, you may remember right from your algebra class that you're, you're always told that formula only works when there's no number or an implicit 1 in front of that x squared term in the original polynomial. And that was what I did on the previous slide. So what about this case? Well, I mean, we, we could derive a formula, right? We, we could factor the a out. You're going to have b over a, x, and I mean, we could go through and, and do it. There's not a whole lot of value to it, right? Because here, here's the thing. Like 99% of the time when you're doing this, you want that A to be factored out in the final result. You want A times the quantity X plus H squared. You don't want AX plus some number squared. So you're going to have to factor it out eventually. Why not just go ahead and do it up front? And in doing that... You end up with a much simpler formula, right? B over 2a square it, or excuse me, b over 2 square it, not hard to remember. If we put that a in there, it's not like it would be disastrous, but it would be messier, right? It would be a, a lot of work for what is really, would ultimately be kind of a theoretical exercise because, as I said, 99% of the time, you're going to have to pull that a out anyway. So if you like this uh, presentation, please don't forget to click on the like button down below. Uh, and if you'd like to see some examples of uh, this process in action, these other two links here will take you some examples of it.